Hello, audience. We have another wonderful episode to bring you up. Happy seen it. I'm Charles, and I am here with our theme girl today, <laughs> <laughs> Denise, because we are going to talk about the Rocket Man. Yes. Hello, moviegoers. <laughs> yes. I went to see Rocket Man. Now, this is a musical fantasy. It's a musical. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's it's about who? Elton John. There is no other. So Elton was a musical genius. Okay. And you saw that as a child. They, um, his family had a piano at home. So he would just, you know, tinker on the piano. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, he is creating a song. And his grandmother picked up on that. So she takes him to a uh, school enrolls him in an academy where he can hone his skills mm -hmm. and become the Elton John that we now know and love. So as he gets older, he meets Bernie Taupin, who was his, who wrote that's the his lyrics. Boy. That's his boy right there. I'm telling you, that's his all boy. All of his hits, <laughs> yes. and they are still very good friends mm -hmm. to this day. Mm -hmm. But when Bernie and Elton first meet and Bernie gives him an envelope full of songs he's written and right. says, you know, put some words to this. We can get a band going. We can get something started here. But uh, I've got the words. We need music. So when Elton opens this envelope and all of these songs come out, you see the um, titles. You see Daniel's song. You see Crocodile Rock. You see Yellow Brick Road. And it's like, oh, my gosh, this is how it started. And Elton literally put music to those songs by reading the words and just hitting notes on the piano. And the next thing you know, you hear a tune. Yeah, boy. And just there you have a, a storm, yes. huh? <laughs> So it's a musical fantasy because it's you don't hear Elton singing all of his songs necessarily in concert. Right. You see him singing these songs based on a situation that happened in his life. Oh, okay. So, 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 so now when these, actually these songs started to, you know, when they started singing these songs, right? Is this where the fantasy part came in? Yes, because you, <laughs> you see Elton in his glory. So, you know, his, his stage persona, the costumes. Right. And so they just took that to another, they took another level, level. And it's like, oh my gosh, there's a whole circus going on right. here for this song. And then once the song is over, you get, you know, you got your songs and your dances and then it goes back to that scene and then maybe that serious part in that movie. So that's how a lot of the songs were performed. Okay. In, in so the, literally, in so the, now, so it looks like in the, in the story right here, they were going back and forth. Kind of back and forth based on his memories because as Elton started to delve into drugs and, you know, alcohol abuse and, you know, his homosexuality and you got that whole drug, sex, right. rock and roll life. He was living the life and right. it was in your face. Right, right. And he didn't care. Right. And so we also know that Elton finally ended up in rehab. So this story at some parts were told from rehab and him remembering certain things and reliving painful periods in his life. And some were really painful and it's like, wow. So what's a grade for this? My grade for Rocket Man is a big fat B. So you love the Rocket Man. I love the Rocket Man, Charles. Okay, so, so, so tell me, how many songs were you just, I, you started naming it here, I, but did you recognize? I reckon them? every note that was played, I knew what the song was. I'm just waiting for you to start singing so I can join in. Remember I that? was singing in the theater. Yes, I okay, was. Okay, so you was like, Rocket Man. Man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Yellow Bridge. <laughs> I sure was. So I you were, was. So, so people were looking at you crazy. Right? Well, I, <laughs> first of all, I don't know because I was sitting far away from them and I was singing in a tone that only I could okay, hear. Okay, so let me ask you this right here. Were you dressed for the occasion when you well, went? You know, I wasn't. I wasn't dressed for the occasion, but what I did do when I left the theater mm -hmm. and got my car, I put my playlist and listen to Elton John all the way home. <laughs> so that's that's how much. I what's like. our recommendation? The recommendation is if you are an Elton John fan, you need to go see this movie. It's fun. I had fun 
watching it. Okay, I really did. So now, what about people that basically, this is a new generation that maybe not even seen Elton John. Exactly. If you're new generation and you don't have to know his history, but if you know, let's say five songs. If you heard five songs. But would they enjoy the music? Yes, they would. So, and they so would the actor that actually played Elton John. Yes. He sang, you were impressed. I was impressed. He sang all the songs. There was no lip syncing in it. And at the end of the movie, when the credits are rolling, there's a, uh, a, a montage that I thought was very interesting. Pictures of Elton and Taron Edgerton, who played Elton in the movie, in costume. And they were wearing the exact same thing, which I thought was cool. So if you saw a picture of Elton John, there was a picture beside him of Edgerton in the same outfit, which was really, really cool. So, so D, tell us, tell our audience where they can subscribe and like us. <laughs> well, before I do that, mm -hmm. thank you, Jackie and Miss Mitchell again for subscribing and liking our channel. Folks, the information is at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to hit that like button. And until next time. This is Have You Seen It? Rocket Man. Hit Man. man. And I got my diamonds <laughs> on my ear. Girl, I am you, channeling. I'm talking about you are channeling, channeling Elton. Elton John. <laughs> and we're out. <laughs>